No, they, I mean, <laughs> we could clearly see that they're not all the way there. Homeboy, <laughs> now run tell that. No, excuse me, run tell that. Run Wait tell a minute. That. Screaming, yes, Fantasia. But also, you know, I think that with stuff like that, I think celebrities should be mindful that people are watching and this is not a good look when you... Um, you know, the sweet and greet is coming again, y'all. We will be in Atlanta. I will be there from September 2nd to September 7th. And I will be... Um, before we get off of music, I want to get back to the VMAs real quick with the, cause you were telling me that, um, the VMAs then took away the uh, best R&B category yeah. video, mm -hmm. but I was asking this question on Twitter and YouTube and I was, I mean, on Facebook and I was, um, trying to figure out, should we be upset that they took it away or should we just accept the fact that R&B videos are becoming the thing of the past or are R&B videos becoming the thing of the past? Um, it's just that they've become the thing in the past. It's just that MTV is just not recognizing it. So BET recognizes R&B songs, mm -hmm. R&B videos. The Grammys still give out Grammy awards for them. It's just that the videos are not being recognized. But how how much can you how much can you say BET recognized R&B when they considered Rihanna R&B over Monica? Hey, now see that's something that. I did not I mean, agree with. Yeah, I mean, a lot of us didn't agree with that. Rihanna, no diss towards Rihanna, but let's keep it real. Rihanna's more pop than anything. You can't say Rihanna is more R&B than Monica, and then you don't even nominate Monica. Like, that's just... Plus, um, MTV doesn't really show R&B videos. It's more They don't even show anything. It's more R&B pop videos. If you watch MTV from about 3 o'clock to about 8 o'clock, they do show music videos, but MTV... Videos should be shown during the day. That's why MTV doesn't stand for but who's music home television during the day. I'm at work. Hey, when you when kids get off from school, it's normally like 2:30. So you had TRL, you had all these music shows. If MTV showed music programs during the day, I think a lot of people record sales would be higher than what they are. But hey, MTV slacking. That's what they are. Yeah, they're slacking. It's just, just music reality reality television. I just thought it was interesting when I found out. That they took away the R&B category because I didn't even realize that they had took it away. Yeah, and I said, you know, wrong. if I didn't realize they took it away, and a lot of other people didn't realize it, does that mean that R&B is just not what it used to be? Like people just no, you, so you shouldn't. Quite, it's just like saying, when the last time you heard R&B on Q102? Well, that's rare to hear R&B on Q102. Okay, the last big R&B song that I remember them playing is. And for those of y'all that don't know, Q102 is a. A pop Mostly station. pop station here at Philadelphia, and I and I heard that they're playing Kelly Rowland's "Rose Colored Glasses," so I'm very happy about that. So yeah, but I'm, you don't. It's rare that you hear R and B on Q1. I mean, that's rare. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If MTV is not just catered to R and B, why should they just have a certain care? I mean, a video for R and B. I can see a pop video. I can see rock, but they don't even give out country. But they, I know they don't show country. But I mean, it's just not highlighted. I don't think it's the R and B is dead. It's just that MTV doesn't recognize it. But I think, but then if R&B isn't dead, then MTV should recognize it. Well, I mean, because I, I, it makes no sense. It makes no sense to have people like Monica and Brand and Brandy. I have and never seen. I haven't seen Monica on MTV. It's. Wow. It makes no sense to have them to just only be nominated for the BET Award or let's say the Grammy or whatnot, even though the Grammys is the biggest. <laughs> but it's like, you know, you have all these music cat I mean music shows, let the, I think it'd be fair if they, they the should R all be nominated for everything. I mean I don't I, I mean M T V had the same problem in the eighties when they weren't showing black videos. And then Michael Jackson became the first and then Whitney Houston I found out became the first black what, artist though, that they were we, showing her videos over and over again. We expect so much for M T V to give the black people when our channel, BET, does not give enough to white people. I mean, I know it's called black entertainment, but just because BET is black entertainment does not mean every entertainer has to be black. Why can't we have a white artist entertain us black people? Why can't BET... Why can't BET show pop videos? Why couldn't BET play a black artist that's doing pop music? 
Like, what's the problem? Well, why why do we expect so much on MTV when we don't expect from the same from? Well, our let me let me just say this. Well, first of all, BET was a a, a, video, a station made up for the black people, mm -hmm. for African Americans, because remember, when MTV first came about, that was for white folks. It just didn't have the title white television, but we all knew what that was for. <laughs> the only reason why MTV started playing black people, Michael Jackson, was because people started protesting I got it, about it. But th this is the thing. I don't have a problem with BET only showing black videos. Why I don't have a problem with them only showing black videos? Because if we don't show our black videos, then who's going to do it? MTV don't show our videos no damn more. So, so if, if they're mean, not, if we I mean, but complain then. No, 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 no. But I, I think We're that talking I about think change and well, like I cursed I out just I cursed out BET for nominating Justin Bieber. When I think about it. I see a lot of black kids singing just Yeah, Bieber. and I understand what so you're I'm saying. Like, okay. I understand what you're saying, but then it but then if you do that, then it can't I, if you do that, then I feel as though it shouldn't be called black entertainment television anymore. It could be called black entertainment because they're entertaining black so. folks. No, 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 so, no. No, yes, no, 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 no. I mean, if, this I mean, is my I thing. don't have a problem. If, no, I see what you're saying, okay. but why or why should we Start showing those videos when they don't even show our videos on MTV. So, okay, so let me ask the you the only question. one of our videos that they show. I'm sorry, but the only people that they show <laughs> on MTV are Beyonce and Rihanna and occasionally Alicia Keys. Other than that, that's it. Why? Why you think it's like that? Well, because Beyonce, Rihanna. Take a video in my room. Girl, sit down. <laughs> so, like I was saying, about are we both thing? in the camera? Yes, we are in the camera. You feel are we both the in the camera? camera? Amber, because the camera looks like it's the only point. You on the camera, bitch. Are we, Amber? Mm. Hello? <laughs> she said no. You are. Because okay. I know where you were sitting at when I was on there. So I the camera had face. died. We thought the camera died, like the battery, but it really didn't die. It just stopped after 30 minutes. So anyway, be back in the house. But like I was saying about Christina Aguilera, though, the radio could play her music because it's a lot of trashy bullshit on the radio. A lot of songs that shouldn't be played are played. And Not My Son Tonight is easily a radio song. It should have been a hit and it wasn't. But, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. About it not being a hit. But, I mean, no matter how many times you request a song, sometimes these DJs do what the hell they want to do any damn way. They're going to play. Like, one time I remember requesting... I ain't gonna say what song it was, but I remember no. Scorpion. I remember requesting you a song. A uh, what? Well, no, I don't. A what? And they kept playing. What did she say? A pad I can borrow. A pad. Uh, oh yeah, I'm now. Oh, now. I think I got one in my bag. Yeah, I'm leaking now. So and I bleed thirty every thirty days. So excuse me. Is that what that smell is? Yes. <laughs> so um. No, that sounds like that smells like salmon. Oh God! I so, thought it was anyway. catfish. <laughs> so, oh my God, I forgot to bring home cornmeal for my mom. Anyway, speaking of fish, um, <laughs> how do we go from pads to cornmeal? Because Amber, because I fish. wanted some fish, some salmon. You some want fish? fish? <laughs> I do. I you know. came home with two hot dogs in that bag, and now you want fish. Let me tell you who I want. How do you go from hot dogs to fish? Shout out to Melanie Fiona. I want to give you a shout out because I just think you're so sexy. And I am so serious about this. I was talking about you on Twitter yesterday. You are just so sexy. She like, with all your clothes on, you are still sexy. And I want to meet you so I can give you a hug. I know you won't hunt me, but I still want to give you a hug. So, let's move on. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Why are you Nothing. so quiet? Shout out. You know what? Since you want to shout out Melanie Fiona <laughs> saying she's so sexy. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Montana Fishbone. <laughs> A.K.A. Chippy D. Girl, they can't tell you nothing with the on your ass. Oh, my. My dick can't get hard watching that. And I love Brian Pumper. My kids watch it. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> These are my new Monster Beast, y'all. Yes, sir. I'm cut from a different club. My texture is the... I forgot the words. So, um... It's all a bitch. Oh. <laughs> I've been... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, once Beyonce comes on, it don't matter if she's on or off. I'm still. Up. I love those monster beats. Um, Montana Fishburn. <laughs> I feel so sorry for Lawrence Fishburn, man. 
It's just somebody was saying like, well, why is Man Montana Fishburne different from any other female porn star? This is the difference. Her father is an Oscar nominated actor who is still relevant today. If you bring up Lawrence Fishburne, they would always call him Neo. Was it ne not Neo? Morpheus. Morpheus yeah. from The Matrix. Or I. Ike Turner. Come on, he has played some good roles. And he's still on TV. He's on what? CSI. He's on one of them damn. Um, Criminal He's somewhere making shows. money. Yeah, man. Yeah, like that. And that's his child out there. Like, what do you think people are going to ask him when he's out there doing um, interviews and stuff? Well, I don't what think pe most people don't understand is sometimes what you do in life really affect other people around you. So it's not that, oh, well, it's her life. She's 19. Well, so what? Now people are going to look at Lawrence Fishburne and say, well, damn, were you there? What were you doing? Why, how did you let your child get like this? Just imagine all the impact it's going to have on him. She's claiming that her mom approves of it. Where the fuck is Lawrence Fishburne at anyway? How come nobody TMZ, nobody can catch him well, any goddamn he doesn't, way? he doesn't approve of it. I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but I mean, we haven't seen any type of interview, no type of sighting. First of all, Lawrence Fishburne is not going to do an interview where he's talking about well, this I because this is a personal it, matter, yeah. and he's not going to allow the interviewers to ask him. We all know celebrities sure. pre-screen their questions. Well, some of them do anyway. And we all know if something like this... If he's promoting something, you know damn well he ain't going to allow them to ask him nothing like that. And as he shouldn't, and I wouldn't answer those questions because it's that's a personal matter. Make sure this is recording. Should right, shouldn't right, be right. at. Uh, he is recording. Go ahead. We're so, ghetto. You have to yeah. get us. So, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's just really, really sad, man. And, you know, that I was so mad. And this is another reason why I was so mad. Can I tell you why I was so mad? Yeah, don't cry. I ain't going to cry. Oh, but the like cum shot. <laughs> oh, I, I, first of all, la 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 Because let me tell you something. I clicked on it, mm -hmm. and as soon I clicked on it, and I fast, because you know, as soon as you click on it, it already, <laughs> you know, she's doing, you know, she's, she's giving knowledge. Mm. So, you know, when I saw that she was giving knowledge, I was like, okay, well, let me fast forward, fast forward. And so, when I stopped it, I saw the part where... It showed her butt, and it was like all nasty, all pimply, pimply. and it was just like, and you know, Brian Pumper had the nerve to say those were beauty marks. He said anything for the cheeks, huh? I think that's but so nasty, was. though. We don't we I don't talk about you. Yeah, I don't talk about. <laughs> I, uh, but you know, I just think it's, I, it, I think it's sad, and a lot of people said that they couldn't. A lot of guys said that they couldn't find themselves to even get aroused watching it, and I see why. Because it was. I see ass. why because it it almost as if it was a joke. It looked like it was a joke. It looked like she's inexperienced. She doesn't really know what she's, she's doing. doing. You know, her friend came out. One of her friends came out and said that she was actually prostituting before she does decided because she wanted to. Um, she, her her father had cut her off. He wasn't giving her no more money, and apparently she decided to do porn because she wanted to be like Kim Kardashian. And you know, but I think she forgets that Kim Kardashian didn't put her sex tape out there. Ray J did. Mm -hmm. So I mean, Montana, I think you are being ill advised by. But it's the wrong not. People. It's not even a sex tape that Montana did. That was a fucking porno. It was. That was a porno. That's not no sex tape. And she's a part of Vivid. Now, if she was having sex with Charlie Wilson, no, not the singer. Excuse me. With um, let's say Michael Wilson. Okay, now that's a sex tape. But you do a, a video. Who the hell is Michael Wilson? A regular. Now, if you—that's not a porn star. I'm just saying he's a. Oh, I was about to say, do I know him? But if you having sex with Brian Pumper, and it's being recorded and it's being edited in such a way, that's a porno. That's yeah. not a sex tape. So, is there anything else that we need to cover, or we, or we, we got everything? I just think that um, I just find it disturbing that she would, you know, do that. Yeah. I mean, it's it's really something going on at the home that's not right. There's something, something going right. on everywhere that's not right. Yes. Thank you. And this this light doesn't work, so there's no lamp in here, no bulb in that head. So, uh, <laughs> so we want to say thank you guys for watching. We will see. We're back. guys a new video on Thursday. We'll be back on Thursday. Why not Friday? Because Thursday I'm off at 2 o'clock.
clock. So it would be what, easier to record and upload and edit. And so what does that have to do with me? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> that we're both going to do it on Thursday. <laughs> So that way First of all, <laughs> I don't like I don't like I don't like having disputes on camera with my co-hosts. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Every once in a while, since today's date is eight, nine, ten, because <laughs> this is why we have to <laughs> we're gonna have a dispute. This is why we have to do this video. Okay, so now you want to explain? Tonight, that, I'll be here on Thursday. I'll be here on Thursday. We gotta do a video on Thursday, and then you gotta be back here on Sunday because Sunday is our two-year anniversary. So the earlier you come here on Sunday, so we can do our video. The earlier the video could be up on our anniversary. Two day. years. Two years. Oh my God! I've been yeah. sitting next to you for two yes. freaking. Years, yes, ma'am, and I still ain't get my royalties. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and don't, don't, don't you dare tweet me saying does Mikel get paid? Because <laughs> you know when I make a video, he does what? He gets paid. Okay, so we will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. If you did not like this video yet. You know what? Just unsubscribe and stuff. No, don't unsubscribe. <laughs> don't unsubscribe. Cause we need. Oh you. my God! Do you know how many? I gotta talk to Mikel off camera about this. But do you know how many people are writing me all of these letters talking about they gonna unsubscribe because they don't like me all of a sudden because what I tell them on Facebook. Well, what do you tell them on Facebook? On my Facebook. Do I not want you to be just a tiny bit. More. I I now hold on. Now nah, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Cause I can't. <laughs> Tell me tell you what to do on his Facebook. Let me tell you what I don't want true. nobody to do. On my I face. just want him don't to do a write me a little bit more. Don't, nice. I, even even if even if they're joking, don't write me no stuff that me and Mikel got a sex tape. Me and Mikel. Oh sleeping. come on! Yeah, I stupid. don't like that. Don't put yeah, that in my uh, comments because it will get you deleted. Yeah. Now every yeah, now and then yeah. I can tolerate some foolishness, but when it's ongoing, somebody is going to have to be the example. <laughs> and you had to, had to be end up being an example. And I'm sorry. First of all, for anybody to think that I would sleep with you yes. has got to be the dumbest person on the face of this. If anybody think that I would sleep with him, again, but, but you know, <laughs> but, <laughs> but <laughs> don't go ahead. That's another Scorpion Show video. You can look back in the past, and if you find that video, I will follow you on Twitter. <laughs> Can we end this video, please? Yes. Talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>